hey, this is a live recorded example. There's about 40 seconds until the US stock market opens. I have found my, in this case, four focus stocks being Nvidia, Meta, AMD, and Netflix, as you can see here. Um, when the market opens, I will follow uh, the trades here, but I will execute the trade from my TD365 platform. But here I have the possibility to follow four stocks at the same time. And I will watch for a signal, an event at the right location before I react. So the, hereby you can actually see, and I will flip to the other chart, so you can see the, the real trade being made, executed all the way. Now you can see the market open, and for Netflix it opens up way lower, and at the same time also Nvidia opens up way lower. You have Meta opening right here. And let me see if I can make AMD show something. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it looks like AMD is stalling a little bit. There we go. Now I can make it work. Okay, so now the market is open. What it is is the first two whole minutes of the opening. I will do nothing. I will wait at least one minute and 30 seconds before I do anything. And this is according to the technique learned by Oliver Velis. And also the Fabulous 4 that I have drawn in is the same thing here. So um, I'm waiting now to see this is the first minute that has gone to see if there's anything particular here. I can now see that Meta looks very interesting to me. So I'm going to prepare the trade ticket for Meta. Yeah, now we have one minute and almost 30 second passed. And so far, the best signal that I see is shorting Meta. And now it is there. So I will actually put the trade now. I have shorted Meta now. You cannot see it on my pro real time screen, but you will be able to see it on my other screen, which I will find out find for you guys in just a second. So this is a live trade done. Just a second, here we go. There's the trade, there we go. So, now I will pull in my screen here. So now you can actually see the trade being made right here. <clears throat> um, I made the trade and I entered at 496.03, which unfortunately happens to be in quite the bottom of this red bar, which of course is a bit sad. But I made it after one minute and 30 seconds because I saw that this is probably what's called a elephant bar because of the length that it is a little bit longer than, the, well, it's actually almost twice as long as the normal bar. I could have asked for a longer bar, but you don't always get what you want in the market. So let's see how it progresses. But my bet now is to the short size. So I wanna see more red coming from here. And it's because also the distance for the 20 moving average to the to the red bar here is a little bit too far. It should be closer. And also to the red one up here, it actually opens a little bit too far down. But it was the best, uh, how do you say, signal that I got from the four stocks. So this is just an example to show that I'm actually doing a real live trade as I'm recording this. I will probably within the next weeks, Fridays, I will do a live broadcast on YouTube where I will actually show my real trades making done as they as they come. So in this example, it's only to show you that I'm actually doing a real trade on my, my platform. Um, I will also see if I can pull in the platform here. So you can see, here's actually the trade running here on CFDs and here's is the open PL. And I have just covered this because I don't want to show you my account number necessarily, but it's a live account, so everything is fine. Here it is. Now, unfortunately, I can also see that the trade went into a minus, of course, which is not that good. And what we see here is actually a nasty, nasty bar here, which probably tells me that this trade can be problematic. 
Um, let me see. So far I will keep calm because my stop hasn't been hit. Actually my stop has to be here, which is one cent above the red bar. So I will adjust my stop. There you go. A little bit like that. There we go. So now if we, I can get the red candle underneath my buying price, or my selling price in this case, I will close the trade because of this candle in the middle here, which I call a warning candle. And this can signal that there could be a possible turn. Uh, and it could make sense that price was trying to, will try to go back to 500 because it likes the round numbers. So now you can see that the price is actually underneath. And I will choose now to press the exit and close the price. There you go. Because uh, I could wait maybe more minutes and see if it goes down or I could wait until it flips back on me and go around. So my entry was not that good. But this was still a live trade made. And even though uh, it got me from 496.03 to 495.39, uh, which is about 64 cents, it's still a relatively easy trade made and it was made live just to be sure. I will now show you here. Here's my account and here you can actually see the trade. It's in Danish Kronos because I'm Danish. So this is a proof. You can see here the timestamp as well. The timestamp is one hour difference because this is London time. Um, the platform just loses London time. So, but that's real time should be 1531 and then again, close it at 1535. These are Danish times, but if I point down here, you can actually see the New York Times is 9.36.15 right now. So that equals that the trade was opened up at 9.31 and was closed at 9.35. Um, I hope that you are able to see other uh, day trading mentors or influencers or people who is teaching how to trade on YouTube or other places, TikTok, whatever. I hope you can make them show one or two or three or even more live trades recorded. And even this can be tampered with so they can basically fake the signal. Uh, the best thing is actually to see a live trade as it goes. So I will encourage you guys to actually ask to see a live trade being done. And remember, if you go to somebody's YouTube channel and the only thing you see on live is somebody drawing in some lines of what could happen, what should happen, what might happen, this is really not necessarily teaching you so much value or how to trade. But as you saw here, there was a live example. I had a signal in Meta. I took it, I shorted it, I closed it. Um, and this was only for showing purpose that it's actually true when it comes to my teaching. Uh, I hope next Friday or the Friday after, depending on when I'm going to do the live trade, that I'll actually get an even better example where I can sit maybe uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or longer. Um, but today, unfortunately, I have other business to attend. So this was just a quick show uh, for you guys to see that is actually live trading. And as you can see, Meta is still continuing a little bit. So who knows where it goes. Thank you for watching and remember always watch a live trade.